Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today we are tackling the kitchen with an organizational video. So looking at all of my cabinets and my kitchen. So on this side, I have all of my food. So in the first cabinet, you saw my seasoning and a few canned items. And this one, you see my condiments and my snacks. And on this side, it is everything else. So need to get this organized and looking good. So down here I keep my cat food as well as a bunch of mason jars that I need to go through and see what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to throw away. On this side I have my silverware in this drawer which is okay but not great and this is just a hodgepodge mess of everything. All of the things are inside of this drawer and at the bottom I have another hodgepodge with like baking goods and other storage type things. On this side, I have most of my plastic wear, so like my plastic plates and Tupperware cups, um, all of my to-go cups. I'm going to definitely change out the contact paper that is inside, um, and this is all my glassware, so my china and my glasses and mugs. I'm going to get rid of that drying rack and do something else, and this is my mess or junk drawer that we all have. That I need to figure out where this stuff actually belongs and get it organized. These are my large utensils so I'm going to sort these out and see what I'm going to use because I've switched over to wooden and also gotten a brand new set of knives. So we're we'll going go through this and see which ones I'm actually going to keep since I don't really use the plastic ones that much. So this is what my pots and pans look like. I had to move back so that you could really get a good look of it. Um, Cosmo wanted to get in a picture as well or in the frame so as you can see i pretty much got frustrated and just started throwing my pots in there and this is underneath the sink so there was some water damage under here so i'm gonna um build like kind of a platform in there for the base of it and just get everything nice and organized so that it's easily accessible so let's go ahead and jump right in. So it was late this evening when I started doing this. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I worked on something I know I could get done. So I'm starting with my plates and cups and trying to get these all situated. So I took them all out, cleaned out the cabinet, changed the contact paper lining on the shelves, and here is how that turned out. So I switched and put all of the cups and drinkware at the top where it was the tallest space. I put my bowls and kitty size plates in the middle as well as some of the plastic Tupperware that I have. And then on the bottom I have the larger size plates, the smaller bowls, and the rest of my Tupperware. And I think it looks so good. So now we're going to hit that junk drawer and tackle all of this stuff. Most of the things in there were tools or old batteries, just stuff that didn't belong. So that was easy to sort the things out and clean it out. So after adding a new contact paper, I'm going to use these drawer organizers that I got from Target and just situate everything that will stay in here. And now we're going to do the same thing for the utensil drawer. I don't use most of these, so I'm going to go ahead and take them out, donate them, clean it out, change the lining, and then create my own system for organizing it. And I think it turned out perfect for the drawer and the size of it. Okay, now we're going to tackle underneath the sink. So like I said, I raised up the base of it with a piece of wood that I have might cut out for me. I got these two new under the cabinet um, waste bins to use ones for regular trash, ones for recycling, and then I'm going to use all the different storage things that I have to get this stuff stored um, and organized underneath the sink. So this is what it all looks like and it functions for me. It's organized, it's in a place where I can get it, and we're going to move on. Alright, so now let's hit the pots and pans. So I got this wrap for Christmas. Um, and I went to go ahead and set it up and it was too big to fit underneath the cabinet well inside the cabinet with both of these sides so I had to pick and just use 
one side. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just clean it out, change out the contact paper, get the lids organized, and then try to put the rack in there. As you can see, it doesn't fit. So now we're just using the one side with some of the pots, like the pots and pans that I use regularly are gonna be the ones that's there and then the other ones will still be stacked up until I figure out how to organize that. And this is what it looks like and it's still so much better than before. So now we're gonna do the glassware. So all of my china and glasses and mugs are gonna be done now. So I'm just gonna take everything out because there's so much in here that I don't use. Like some of these things have not been used in the five years that I've been in my house and probably years before. So I'm gonna go through and see what all I'm gonna donate and what all I'm gonna keep and then put them back in here. And this is what it looks like. Nice and organized with everything in its place. And this is what all is going to be donated um, to charity. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the silverware and organize these things so that they are more easily accessible and get to that junk drawer with everything in there and as well as the bottom drawer that kind of had everything too was like bakeware and party supplies so i'm gonna just have them all out to see what i'm gonna keep that way i know where to put what so i'm doing the party supplies in the top with the bakeware so you see in that bin i have all of the party supplies that i have plus like my bakeware there and in the bottom drawer I put my apron, my um, dish towels and this is everything that is going to be donated. Here is everything that I got to organize the food in my kitchen. So I ended up getting too many of that one size. That is for teas. That I'm gonna show you what it's for at the end but my mom told me to get it so I got it. And it is for your pot, your pot tops or your pan tops. Um, that is going to replace the dish drying rack because I can put it underneath the sink because it's collapsible. I wanted these spice jars, so I got the spice jars. Didn't use the Lazy Susan, but I got that tiered rack for the spices and then that sponge holder did not work. And I got two of those egg um, holders because I normally get 18. I got these two tiered trays. The round one was from Target dollar spot that I paid $5 for and I just stained it. And then this one I got from Michaels for $14 and I stained it as well. So I will stain it inside. I just wanted to see how it looked before doing so. But super happy I got them. The round one will have to wait to another video and we will see the squared one in a bit. So now let's go ahead and hit up these top cabinets that are over the oven so this is where i keep the food just because it's over the oven and it's super convenient and you can see just how small my kitchen is this is it for my cabinets um and if you didn't see my kitchen makeover then this is the first time that you're seeing it so of course i'm going to start off with the thing that i'm so excited about and that is my spice jars and I also created labels for them, so I'm going to put those labels on and get those nice and neat. And I think the labels turned out well. So this is what this cabinet looks like. So I have all my spices down at the bottom and then like the spices that couldn't fit or don't use. And I have my grains and stuff, so I did get some organizers, so I'll show you that in a later video. And then I have my pasta. So this is where I keep all of my snacks. And this one was just like random food items. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these mason jars that I've been collecting and just make this cabinet for my cat food because I need a place for that. And then we're gonna hit up the refrigerator and freezer. So I went through and checked for expiration dates. I took out the shelves and cleaned them all out. Took out the bins and cleaned those out as well and then adjusted some of the shelves. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the things back into the refrigerator. So this is what the fridge looks like after going through and cleaning it out and organizing everything. And I will show you what it looks like after I um, get my groceries. So I got rid of tons of things that had expired and it left all this room. And this is the part that I absolutely loved and I'm sorry I didn't show you a before because I just didn't know where I was going with this. But I think the freezer looks so beautiful love how the bagged 
groceries look and that was where I was confused because everything's in a bag but using those storage trays really helped to make it look good. All right, so this is updated with some more food in it. Um, so filled up my eggs and on this row you have my desserts, like my cookie dough and my leftover dinner as well as my lunches for the next two days. And you have some of the ingredients for dinner, the Brady Cena's, cold cuts um, and cheese more of the bad veggies and then my fruit this is what the pot top holder looks like and it also has a place for you to put your spoons as well wow. so i didn't really talk about this island when i did my kitchen makeover if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out i made over my kitchen for under 500 dollars and this was not part this island was not part of that budget but i wanted to show it because i'm using it for organization so on this island i have put most of my electronics so i have my microwave down here and it's super convenient i put the toaster here that was up in the shelf and then these baskets so i've been using these baskets pretty much since i redid the kitchen and inside the baskets i just put all of my appliances so i have my toaster oven and my crock pot and that one and this one has my air fryer, my blender, and my rice maker in there. And it's just a great convenient way to keep my stuff stored and off of my countertops. So here is what my hot drink station is looking like so far. So I still need to go ahead and sand the in, not sand, stain the inside of this tear tray on the bottom. I just wanted to see what it would look like stained before I did the whole thing. Um, and I think it turned out well. I have my tea organizer on top and I just have my green and black tea packets in there. And then these two planters I actually got from the Target dollar spot and I will eventually paint them up. So that might be something that I do when I decorate for summer. I wanna put real plants in them. So we shall see, but I got two of them to hang up on the um, upper cap cabinets. The last little thing I did was add the monochromatic letters to my soap dispensers. So I didn't want it to stand out much. I just wanted, you know, if anyone else was here using it to know what the differences are. So I put just hand in dish so that the two different types of soaps would be identifiable. And I think that it turned out super, super cute. And like I said, I wanted it monochromatic. So I wanted to do white on white. So I just and now I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of my lip two products, y'all. This was something when you don't realize just how much stuff you have. Um, but I'm happy I was able to figure out how to organize it. And it just has like all of the little essentials like hair pins, hair ties, lip gloss, um, like pain killing ointments, my tooth supply, extra toothpaste for guests. The second drawer had like all of my hair products, including my hot wax um, that I hardly use. I don't even know why I'm keeping it. But all of my combs and tools, like for my hair, were all in there. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't fit them all into baskets, so I just put the brushes and combs in a basket and then just neatly put like my hot tools on one side. And then the bottom drawer has like all of like the hair accessories for um, like sleeping, like my bonnets and like scarves and headbands and all. The next couple days we are going to tackle my hallway so I want to go ahead and do my closet my coat closet is packed to capacity so here is the coat closet up at the top I have two bins with all of my like scarves and hats and winter accessories then you see all of my jackets and coats I don't switch them out for the season so they're all in here they're color coordinated going from this way from red 
to white and then this is the monstrosity of <laughs> what's going on at the bottom so i purchased another one of these shoe racks from walmart they're only like seven dollars or so like less than eight dollars to put on the opposite side so yes a lot to do in this closet um but excited to do it and my linen closet with all of the mess that is inside of it i cannot wait to make this look pretty and functional so we're gonna start by tackling this coat closet going through the jackets that i don't want or haven't worn so that i can donate those and just straighten everything else up so that it looks nice and tidy um, I do still need to go back in and probably donate some more because I got some new things for Christmas and they don't fit. So to get to the bottom of the closet, I'm going to go ahead and put this shoe rack together so that I can organize the shoes that I keep in here. The shoes are seasonal so I do keep shoes in here just based on what I'm wearing at the time. So right now all of my winter shoes and boots are there and then like sneakers and other shoes that I would wear to work. So this will help to make all of it look nice and neat and I can easily see where my shoes are when I come home to put them back in the right place after work too. So this was an awesome idea for me to put them in here. Um, that way I can take my shoes off as soon as I get home and put them on right before I leave the house. Um, I don't like to walk around the house with my shoes on, especially with little fur babies. So here I put all the boots on one side and then all of the sneakers and then my um, ballet flats on the other side. At the time I was wearing a walking boot so I did put that right back in there. I know how my ankle is so I'm going to leave that there that way I can get to it whenever I need. Now let's get to the scarves and winter accessories. So it's mostly scarves in here and as you can see the bins look great but they look like a hot mess on the inside. So I'm just gonna take all the scarves and roll them up and then stack them standing. That way that I can always see what the scarves are and it's been really easy to take them out and put them back in without messing up the whole bin. So this has been a great solution for me. I can see them all and when it's time to go back, the space is still there waiting for it when I get home. So I went ahead and did the same thing with like my cotton or satiny scarves as well and put both of the bins back up at the top of the closet. So now the closet is all done and we can move on to the next closet, the right, linen closet. It's time to start tackling this linen closet. So I have a bunch of these bins from the Dollar Tree that I actually was using in my classroom. I also got these from Target and I think these were $6 each and they fit um, perfectly in a shelf because these were too big to fit in a shelf. I didn't measure before I purchased them. Um, so I wanted to make sure that whatever I got would fit in the shelves. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top and work my way down. I was only gonna do like a couple shelves, but I decided to just go ahead and knock it on out. So I'm just gonna go through these bins and see what's in here and try to organize them um, some way, somehow. So I put all the cleaning materials together that are gonna stay in the linen closet and then I put the ones that were gonna be moved um, to the side. That way I knew. So now I'm going to go ahead and tackle this second shelf that had a bunch of miscellaneous items and get it all cleared out. Now I am going to go ahead and start putting the bins in. Um, I already went through and figured out what was going to go into each bin and it made perfect sense. I love the way it turned out. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean the floor before I put those other bins back down there because I have a lot of spiders in my house, so spider webs are just everywhere. So I wanted to make sure that I got that all clean. All right guys, so it is the next day. My battery died last night while I was organizing the linen closet, so I didn't get to show you what all I was able to do. But this is the linen closet. It is looking so great. 
I love it so much. Um, even have room for I don't know what to go in there. But I figured out how I wanted to put everything in here. And it works very well. So at the very bottom in that bin, I have my toilet paper. And then you see there's one extra sitting on top. And I have the paper towels on the shelf. And then there's one extra paper towel there. Um, and then in these two bins, I have my like injury stuff. So my hot water bottle, some of my um, bandages and straps for like ankles and knee support are in there. And then those are all of my, what I call my to-go stuff. So like when I um, go on vacation or stay away for the weekend. So those are like my little bags that I will put all of my stuff in for traveling. Um, and then on this shelf, I use these plastic baskets that I got from Target. So this one's a little messy just because I know that I'm about to take some of the sheets out to put in my guest bedroom for my family to come um, to the house for Christmas because like I said I'm filming this during my winter break even though you're not seeing this until January so that's why they still look like that but those are like the extra sheets um, for bedding and blankets for bedding these are my hand towels that I actually use for my face and then these are washcloths and then that one is like just extra curtains. So whether it's shower curtains or window curtains, that's just where my extra curtains are. Um, just because it just made sense. I don't have that many. And these three canvas bins are all of my towels. Up here on this shelf, um, the bag that I have on the door for like all of my giveaway things or like gift items are inside of this bin so whenever I get like free PR things or just products to um, promote on Instagram that I don't actually use then they will go in this bin so that I can give them to whoever needs them or just give them away as like a little thank you gift kind of thing um, the like these are miscellaneous things like this is all tooth like oral care this is body and then this was face yeah, this, so this one was all of my nail polish and nail and foot care and then this was what was in there um all of my hair products like, that is my mini closet and like i said i really love it all right so this is the current state of the freezer doesn't look anything like it did when I organized it last year. That's what happens when you add two more people into your life. <laughs> Alright, and this is the refrigerator, which isn't bad just because we don't have that much stuff in here. Like this drawer stays pretty good. This one doesn't just because we don't keep like the same things always in here. And then just the fruit. But this is the part I don't know what to do with. Hopefully most of the stuff will be expired so I can get rid of it. But I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to put this stuff in its own separate containers because that's just a waste for me right now. Maybe when we move and I get a fresh start. But yeah, so that is the refrigerator before. So this is the before. And then we will see what the after is going to look like. So the first thing that I am going to do is clean out the refrigerator. And I decided to not just take everything all out all at once because I really didn't have a plan. You typically have a plan in mind. Or you want to try to have a plan in mind before you organize. But in this case, we just have so many random things. That it's kind of hard to think about how you're going to organize it when they're just so random. So I really didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I had some thoughts, but I just wanted to make sure that I took everything out. 
So instead of taking it all out at once, I did section by sections because I just felt like that would just make the most sense. So I took out all the shelves first and then worked on that. And then after that, I worked on a door. So you'll see how some things that I was gonna put on the shelf ended up in a different location because as I said, I didn't quite know what I wanted to do or what would function until I started putting things back in and moving them around. One night, love all night Telling me lies Maybe stop telling me lies ah, ah. You were my best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would So after I cleaned off the shelves and everything else, I wanted to go ahead and transfer the items that I have into the new containers or either containers that I already had that we're using over again. I wanted to go ahead and transfer those things over and wanted to get a feel of how much space I would actually use or would need with the organizers. Sometimes the organizers are just awkward in shape and end up taking up space that the item themselves wouldn't. So you just want to make sure that when you're doing this, you're still using your space to make sense. Like you're optimizing your space as much as you can and not taking away space because you're using something that's supposed to help you with organizing. It just made more sense for me to put the drinks in a door. The shelves are super deep, so having the drinks there just didn't make sense because then I had to put one in front of the other and that just makes it harder to get to. So I decided to put those drinks in the door and only put the milk and like our bottles, uh, coconut water, like put that stuff on the shelf. So when I looked at my condiments, like I really, I'm not used to having them. These came with the husband um so i didn't really know how to go about them yeah i had the basics ketchup mustard mayo sometimes i had jelly sometimes i had um barbecue sauce like very minimal and then my salad dressing one 
Now I have a ton of different condiments and it was just like, what am I going to do with these? Because ultimately, I would love to have them in their own cute little glass jars so that they all match and you don't have to look at the different sizes and shapes and labels. But we just knew that that wouldn't work for us in a way that we use them. Yeah, the ketchup, the mustard, the mayo, definitely even some of our salad, like my ranch dressing, always had that and stock but some of the other things are like seasonal items or items that we might just use once because we wanted to try it out so just what makes sense to put those things into different containers um, and plus I'm trying to eliminate how many dishes I would have to clean so we didn't do that this time around but I decided to just try to put things according to different categories when looking at what's going into the door I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Be free. Be free with me. Be free. All right, so this is the finished fridge side of the refrigerator. Hopefully this is something that will work for us. So I put like our leftovers all the way at the top so that we can see them, grab them, don't forget them, um, on top of the eggs. And then grab and go snacks there. Um, the milk and Gatorades with the coconut water more grab and go I put the celery and the carrots in the jars with the water because that's supposed to make them last longer then we have salsa behind the pickles um, this drawer as you saw I didn't touch because this is the only thing that has stayed organized since I organized last year and that's like our cold cuts and like whatever meat and stuff we put in there with the cheeses we clearly don't keep that many vegetables in here like I said we tend to shop when we need um, meal plan or whatever so that is all that's in there and then our fruit um, are down there and the bottom and for the door so you saw that I swapped out the drinks but have our butters up there our juices here um, probably should move those two because in person they look similar on camera you can tell they're different it's the apple juice fruit punch and cranberry and this you know I wasn't sure how to do this most of these came with my husband so <laughs> I'm not used to having all these condiments but I tried to like put things in categories the best way I could um, so like our most go-to, clearly ketchup, um, mustard, mayo, have the jellies, peanut, the, the almond butter, and then some other random things with Parmesan. Then I put like our salad dressings there and then some other sauces that he might use on meat. And then like the smaller um, containers down here at the bottom that we don't use that often. Um, so that is that course I would love everything to be in clear containers but we're not about that life because then you have more things to clean as far as dishes so now to tackle this freezer I'm not looking forward to that um, but I will probably do that off camera and just show you the after just because I'm not sure of how I'm going to do that I didn't really know how I was going to do this but I felt this was easier than me trying to figure out the freezer and I don't want that food to um, thaw out so all right, so now it's time to tackle the freezer. So here is the freezer part. Um, nice and organized, so I'll talk through it. At the top, we have our ice creams and popsicles. I know <laughs> we put the unhealthy stuff at the top, but we actually don't eat it that often. And then behind that is our cake type topper from our wedding for us to have for our one year anniversary. And this tray is like clearly stuff for Kylie. Um, then we have our frozen fruit here. 
and I tried to put um, like all the unopened ones here and then the open ones on this side um, that way we know where to go first and then our frozen vegetables are there and then down there sorry for the lighting um, is all of our like proteins so all of our frozen proteins are down there and that's even proteins that we got fresh and froze and then in the door we have the little ice things for like the lunch bags and stuff random um, peanut butter cup there again sorry for the lighting the sun starting to set and then um, some frozen things for Michael um, frozen meals here and then some more of those and then uh, emergency um, ice packs for accidents watch out Cosmo okay you don't need to talk back just watch out <laughs> um, so yeah so that is that it didn't take as long as I thought um, but I didn't like I said I didn't want the food to start to thaw out um, in the process of me trying to figure out how I was gonna do this but yeah so that is it well there you have it hopefully we will create a system to maintain it as long as we are here in this home if you haven't done so already go ahead and organize it also if you're new here hit that subscribe button i would love to have you join me here on this channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about where you are as far as organizing and your home or what organizational videos you would love to see me put out on this channel i'll see you in a few days in a new video thanks for watching bye